Hey, how's it going YouTube? Jason here with Maslin Tech, and today I've partnered with NVIDIA to show you guys NVIDIA's GeForce Now streaming service for the Mac. GeForce Now, which is currently in beta on the Mac, allows you to remotely play games on a high-end PC on your Mac. I've done a gaming video on my Mac, and it ran most games well on lower settings, but my Mac is also a $3,000 computer. The beauty of GeForce Now is that with a decent internet connection, you've got access to a high-spec gaming PC, even if you're on a five-year-old MacBook Air. All right, now that you know what it is, how well does it work? Let's find out. All right, initial impressions. You can't skip the opening scene in Borderlands 2, no matter how many times you've seen it, but it's streaming really smoothly. Looks like it's locked at 30 frames, so we're gonna see if we can change that in the settings. Okay, so the first thing I noticed, and I didn't even think about this, I'm using a DualShock 4. I didn't have to do any driver installation or anything, it actually is just, yeah, it's working out of the box. Okay, so we've got control of the character, and it seems to be pretty smooth. One thing with games that you have to worry about is what's called input lag. That is the amount of time between when you press the button and when the game registers it. Uh, different TVs have different amounts of input lag, but when you're sending a signal hundreds of miles potentially, it can be worse. So let's see when I press the button versus when it responds. That's pretty instant. All right, so it's about to get a little more hectic. Let's see, uh, let's see how it runs. All right, so that's Borderlands 2. It ran, honestly, flawlessly. I'm a little surprised. I didn't really even see a dropped frame. Um, so we're gonna move on to a different game and see how that handles. So next up, we're gonna be playing Rocket League. Now Rocket League is a really fast, twitchy game, so low latency is gonna be key. So just like Borderlands 2, it looked like it changed the resolution to the max native uh, render resolution of 900p, um, but everything is maxed out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the motion blur effect, because I play with that off. I find it a little bit distracting. And then because we're professionals, we're gonna turn off camera shake. All right, to get a little bit crazier, I'm inviting my friend Will, and we're gonna do a 1v1. Lag. Lag. No, but for real, visually the game is perfect. There is some noticeable input lag. Um, I know it's a common joke to say lag is what screwed you up in Rocket League, but I am noticing it here. We're usually pretty even, but in a twitchy game like Rocket League, even the smallest delay can make all the difference. Oh, that was terrible. And lastly, let's check out Dark Souls 3 to see how it runs. Now, Dark Souls 3, unlike the other two games, you need more fast thinking than fast finger work. It's more methodical and less twitchy, if you will. So let's see how it plays. I'm detecting just a tiny hint of delay. All right, so impressions of Dark Souls 3. It runs well, runs better than Rocket League, not as well as Borderlands, which was flawless, um, but it's enough to where it's definitely playable. Um, usually keep 60 frames, a little bit of blips here and there though. So between all three games, I played a little over an hour. Borderlands was flawless. Even over a stream, the game looked beautiful. Audio was crisp and the controls were extremely responsive. Dark Souls 3 was mostly the same. I noticed a few stutters in the 25 minutes I played it, but nothing deal-breaking. Dark Souls is also the most demanding game, but GeForce was able to stream it at 60 frames per second with everything maxed out. Finally, Rocket League. It has its issues. Hilariously enough, I'd rather play it over GeForce Now than the Mac client, which has its own set of issues, including input lag. I noticed when booting into Rocket League, even its Steam Pages autoplay video was choppy, so it's not the game itself. 
I submitted a feedback ticket while recording this video, so it may improve in the future. So overall, my impression of GeForce Now is a good one. Its selection and variety of games is really good, especially for beta. Even better, games that use Steam's cloud save carry over data, so if I wanted to start a game on my GTX 1070 gaming rig and then pick it up on the go, I can. I plan to do a full review of Nvidia's GeForce Now for the Mac once I've played with it a little bit longer. I'm curious to try it different places. My ISP isn't bad, but at 60 down and 5 up, it's not great, even though it is within the recommended requirements. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. A big thanks to Nvidia for hooking me up with the GeForce Now beta. As always, I'm Jason with Maslintech. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one.